Hey there, this is Santi, and today I want to share with you some of my opinions of why I think it's a great idea to use Obsidian and Logsix side by side. These are my hands down favorite applications of the past year or so. I've been using them every day and I love using them side by side. So first, let me show you what it looks like and then let's get into more discussion of why it's a good idea to combine them, right? To, to use them together. So this is what it looks like. All right, so here we have Logsix on the left, Obsidian on the right. And if I just write something new in here, my new note, and I'm going to create a link out of that, the link is going to be appearing on both sides on Obsidian and Loxic. So on Loxic on the left, whenever I write here, it's going to show in Obsidian. And whatever I keep writing in there is going to be reflected on Obsidian, as you can see in a second. And there we go. Cool. And the same thing from Obsidian. If I write anything here, it's going to take a little second and then you can see it on Loxic as well. So that's what it looks like. It's really exciting. I mean, I love doing this. Now, of course, that is for the sake of demonstration. I don't usually have Obsidian side by side with Loxic, but I tend to have them both open at the same time and I work and leverage both of their abilities and the benefits that each one of them give me. And yeah, for me, it's a great workflow. So let me tell you a bit more about the overview and some of the ideas that I want to share with you on why combining them is a great idea. Okay, so first, as you can see, we have a golden circle. Why am I showing you this? Okay, that's the name of this concept is a golden circle by Simon Sinek. And it's going to make sense in a second, right? So this circle is whatever you want to achieve and a specific goal or direction that you have in mind. And there's different aspects when it comes to the certain project or whatever you're working on that you want to achieve. And there is a what, what is it that you're trying to achieve? Of course, we're going to go in depth with what this means. We have the what, we have the how, and we have the why. And this concept of the golden circle encompasses the concept the idea that we should start with the why. Okay, so that's what we're going to do right now. So to tie it all together, I'm going to show you a mind map that I created using Loxic, but I display it in Obsidian. I can show you a bit more behind the scenes towards the end of the video, but right now here's where I have a couple of ideas that I want to share with you. So here it is, right? This is Obsidian, but again, I use Loxic to create this, which is really cool. So when it comes to the why, why combine both of these applications? Here we go. Sorry, you were looking at my face. I was trying to show you the screen. <laughs> Either way, here it is. Here's a mind map that I'm showing you in Obsidian, but I created in Loxic. So why do we want to combine both of these applications? Okay, so this is my opinion, but I believe that Obsidian is better than Loxic in some things, and Loxic is better than Obsidian in some other things, of course, right? They are different. They're going to have different strengths. And this is why I believe it's important or at least useful if you want to use both of these applications side by side. You might know that both of these applications use, both of these applications have the philosophy of local files, right? This means that you get to own your files. They're on your computer. You get to back them up, look after them. It's the ownership of files. I always give the example that if you want to access these files, these ideas that you write today, in the future, you will be able to do that because it's very is not platform dependent, right? If Obsidian or Loxic go away eventually, you still own your files, you still have them. So with that, they can both be combined. One same file can be opened in both applications. So let's take a look at why, you know, like what are the benefits of using Obsidian versus using Loxic and why I think it's good to leverage both of those strengths to get the workflow that you need. So let's take a look. All right, let's start where Obsidian is better than Loxic at certain things. One of them is the community plugins. I'm using this mind map tool as a community plugin that is offered inside of Obsidian by the amazing people that just help, help Obsidian be better through community plugins. And I'm leveraging that to make use of a lot of extended functionality that is not currently available in Logsic, right? Then we have long form, uh, you know, the, the long form writing is a better experience. At least for me, I find it a bit more comfortable to use Obsidian to write, say, a blog post or even chapters in a book or just draft ideas that you want to have for the long term. I find that better than Loxic because Loxic, of course, is better at outlining things, which, of course, I'm going to cover in a second. But for me, Obsidian being able to write like a full length document is a bit more comfortable, even though it's possible in Loxic. I do prefer Obsidian for that kind of stuff, just because for me, the experience of writing is a bit better. Then we have the speed and stability. I think that Obsidian, even though they're both kind of like, you know, very early uh, software, like they were just developed 
you know, not that long ago from the moment of writing this, writing and recording this video. And yeah, they're both pretty like, you know, in their infancy, but I believe still Obsidian is a, li a little bit more stable. Loxic has been really, really developing in the past like month or so be, uh, since recording this and it's been really getting a lot more stable. But even then Obsidian to me is a bit faster in certain things. It has a bit less issues, but I mean, I really hope Loxic is going to get to that level soon. But Regarding the stage of development, Obsidian is a little bit ahead, which is why sometimes I like to rely on it for, again, like long form writing or just certain things. I believe the search functionality can be slightly faster and slightly better than Luxic. Not that Luxic is bad, but I personally really like the way in, we, in which I can just search uh, for tags or files inside of Obsidian. It's really comfortable. All right, so now let's get at where Luxic is better than Obsidian, right? So daily notes, to me, this is everything about Luxic. The ability to just put absolutely everything, I mean, that's what I choose to do, you don't have to, but for me in Luxic, I can just write absolutely everything in today's note, and then I can connect it to other things, right? So let's say, for instance, I'm learning Latin, you know, the Latin language, and I want to give track of my progress, how much I'm learning, how much I'm practicing per day, and that kind of stuff. What have I learned if I had major breakthroughs, if I'm getting stuck? That kind of stuff, I like to keep track of that. And Luxic makes it, makes it super easy to be able to just use the daily note to put my daily experience of what I've learned today, what are the things that I've been working on and where I get stuck on things. And then I can just connect that to let's say the Latin page that I have in my Luxic. And then I can see every single day that I've written about Latin, where I've got stuck or where I've had major breakthroughs or where I learned a new book that might help me, that kind of stuff. So it's really cool to keep track of absolutely everything in Luxic that way. I think that's, that's amazing, right? Now, of course, Obsidian also has the ability of creating daily notes and it's something I use so that it works great with Luxic, but I prefer the structure of Luxic and I prefer the way in which Luxic does a couple of things, right? So next we have embedding blocks. Now this might deserve its own video because it's a bit more complex, but the way in which Luxic embeds certain information, right? If I have a long note in here, and I want to be able to refer to one specific paragraph of that and put it in my daily note, I can just get that block, put it in here, right? And the experience of doing that in Luxic, for me, at least right now, it's better than the one that Obsidian allows you to do. Obsidian still lets you do it, but to me, like, because Obsidian is not that block center, it has adapted towards being able to use blocks in a, in a better way than in the past. But it's still like the, the block embedding experience of Luxic, because it's so similar to Rome Research, to me is a lot more powerful. You might disagree, you might think that Obsidian is, has a pretty decent block experience, you know? And I think you might be right, but I think it still needs a bit more development and I still think Luxic is a bit ahead. That's just my take on that, so yeah. <laughs> And then in Luxic, we have the backlinks. To me, the backlinks are just excellent. In Luxic, everything that you manage to, like, let's say, right, what I was saying, if I write something in today's note and maybe I'm doing another hobby of mine, which is memory techniques, memory palaces and that kind of stuff. If I want to have a certain idea that I write about memory techniques or about, you know, memory palaces, I can link from today's note into the memory palaces note that I have. And then later on, I can just go to the note and see every single backlink, every single mention of memory palaces across any single daily note that I've done in the past. And then I can see how ideas connect and I have a nice panel, a nice view where I can just see all of that. Let me actually show you because I think it'd be better to show you what it looks like. All right, yeah, just to give you an example, here's where I keep track of memory techniques. And as you can see, there are many days where I mentioned memory, sometimes even a couple of days of times in the day. And from here, you know, I have tons of writing reflections. I even can keep track of the very first day I got excited about this and started really getting deep into it. And what's really cool and what I believe makes it a better backlink, backlink experience compared to Obsidian is that I can, I can even write in here. You know, I can just start writing anything in here and that is going to be saved on that specific daily note. So to me, that's really cool. And I can expand and collapse every single thing and I can write from this context, which is something I really enjoy. So as you can see, like the main reason why I think it's a great idea to combine both of these tools is that there's definitely pros and cons to each. There's some really good strengths for Luxic, some great strengths about Obsidian. And to me, you know, in the past, I would have definitely been like, okay, now I have to pick which one I'm going to stick to. Right. But now I started to adopt this mindset about like, you know, instead of having like a Swiss army knife, right, where I have an all in one tool, 
right? And of course, applications like Notion are trying to do this a bit more where like everything, you can do absolutely everything from this specific app. Instead of having this Swiss Army knife, I'd rather have a good toolbox of a lot of tools for the right job where I know that if I want to do an outline, I use Doxic. If I want to, you know, just like publish a blog post or just write the whole blog post, I use Obsidian and, you know, just to keep going with the, you know, the analogy. And then if I want to use the right tool for the right job to create in tables, powerful tables, then I use Notion. Or if I want to collaborate, I could use Notion as well, you know, like it's a lot easier, it's made for that. So it's, you know, it's that kind of stuff. So that, that's the mindset I've started to adopt, like the right tool for the right job. And that is why I combine several applications instead of trying to force everything into one application. I've definitely tried to do absolutely everything in Obsidian, but it definitely becomes challenging and it starts becoming counterproductive and very frustrating. So instead of trying to force one application to achieve absolutely everything, I prefer choosing the right tool for the right job. So that's why I think it's a great idea to use these files that you have in your computer and open them both in Logseq and Obsidian, right? So that is of course the why, you know, I think you can leverage the strengths of both and make an even better experience. But of course, the question that you are asking right now is how, how to actually make them work together. Now, I know that what I'm going to say might not be the best thing and might not be like, you know, like what you were expecting out of this video. But I believe the technical aspects of how to achieve it for me, I would say is like, okay, a log stick is a bit more you know, like a bit more restricted on the way that the structure of everything works, whereas Obsidian is extremely flexible. So what I do personally is to take the whole structure of Logsic and replicate it in Obsidian. And that consists of a couple of technical steps, which is why I'm super excited to say that I'm fi finally about to release my Logsic course, right? So you can check it out if you want in the description. By the time you're watching this, it might already be out. But right now, if you're watching this as as I'm re recording this video, you know, the day I release it or so, I'm going to leave uh, the same link with more information so that you can check out and you can be one of the first ones to get it. There's definitely more perks, more benefits if you get the course early on. So at whatever point you're watching this, if you check out the course, the Luxy course, uh, there's going to be a couple of benefits. And one of them is the how, which is what I'm really excited to do. And, you know, this is what I'm doing for a living right now. And I'm super passionate to share this kind of really awesome systems with you. So what I did was I created a whole subsection in my Logsic course where I have everything about how to use Logsic combined with Obsidian. So there's the overview, some of the things that I'm telling you here, but a bit everything just way more concise. You know, the file structure that you need to replicate. You have things such as the daily notes, how to achieve that, how to create new notes, how to create links, the outlining experience, the example of the mind map, which is something that I'm using right now. So I put all of this together in my Luxy course for a couple of reasons. One, because that is the way I pay rent and I truly appreciate your support in helping me make a living out of this, which I, is truly my passion. And second, because that is the best way I can keep the information uh, updated and relevant. I recorded one video, you know, like I recorded a video one week, but Luxic changes so quick, Obsidian changes so quick that I already have to update that. So if I were to put all of that in YouTube, all the information would be soon outdated. So that is why I want to keep it all relevant, all up to date in the course. I hope you understand that, that is really the best way I can structure it. And of course, the best way I can keep doing this, you know, financially and so forth. And so that is a how I know it's really annoying. I wish I could just walk you through everything, but everything's constantly changing. However, if you want to just, you know, get a couple of tips, feel free to message me on one of the, you know, on the Discord servers for Loxig or Obsidian. I'm super active there. Or you can send me a message. I can definitely help you out. I have all the information for that and my content information below. So yeah, that's, that's, that's my take on that, you know. So that is the how, but we also, of course, there's the what. And to me, the what in this context mostly means what is the interaction that you will have with your system, right? What does it look like for you to be able to write something in, in Logsic that you later move on to Obsidian to work in there, right? Like one of the ways that I've used it and it's really cool is like you can say you write a blog post, right? And you want to, or any idea that you want to outline and form into creative output, you know, you can just outline it in Logsic. And now because it's so, it's such a good experience to just create an outliner in Logsic, then you can 
open that exact same file that is going to sync across the two applications and write more extensively in Obsidian out of that outline that you have. You can start writing paragraphs underneath it. That is maybe the what, what it looks like. What does your system help you achieve? And what does it technically and, you know, digitally, physically, but digitally, what does it look like, right? So there we go. Once we have the what, we complete the whole circle where the why is at the core, the how is the system that you implement and the technical aspects of how to achieve it. And then the what is what it looks like, what, what it helps you achieve. But at the end of the day, like if you, if you can concrete, make it very concrete, why do you want to do something like this? Then you will have everything else fall in place. And just keep in mind, this is all from like how I perceive it. I find it, I find it worth it. My why is strong enough for me to be able to, to achieve this, you know, like this workflow between the two applications. There's definitely limitations. It's not perfect. You know, it involves a bit more time to set everything up. For me, like it, it's more about setting everything up, the structure correctly, and then you can just like reap the benefits out of this. But of course, there's always going to be little annoyances, little things that you wish interacted a bit better. So see if this actually applies to your workflow. If maybe you want to keep absolutely everything in Obsidian, that's not a bad workflow. If you want to keep everything in Logsic, that's okay. But what I'm trying to do with this video is to give you a bit of another take on why I believe it might be worth combining both applications. But again, you know, Think about it, reflect if this is worth it for you. And if it is, I do encourage you to check my Loxy course. It's, I'm super excited to release it because I've been planning it for so long, but now I'm so happy to say that Loxy is at a state that even though it's not perfect, it's getting very, very good. It's getting very stable. Shout out to the Loxy team. Those guys are just amazing. And I'm super happy to form part of that community. So yeah, excited to be releasing this course. And yeah, hope this video gave you some thoughts, gave you some insights that might help you out. And with that said, I will see you in the next one. So thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.